be for fun. Stream has started. I'm ready, I'm ready for fun too. All right, here we are. Welcome in, everyone who decides to stop in. This is uh, Jay Questo, and um, this is session three of The Mask of Corruption. Previously on session on, four, the special three point two technically, because like the, the um previous session three, but I couldn't put up on uh, YouTube because <sighs> many reasons. But um the the most prominent reason is that no one could be heard besides me, and if it was just nobody could be heard, I could just I could, I could uh like turn if they were just like, very quiet, I could very much turn them up. But since I was there too, and if I could be heard, I can't use the video because I can't turn it up. Here's a question. Did we double check to make sure that we can be heard in the um it 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 will show um the uh of where could be heard in the audio mixer. Yeah, it, it shows your, your, your it shows your your audio. You guys can be heard okay. perfectly fine. All right. Okay. That's good because because I because I know I helped Jade with that. <laughs> But just in case, yeah, it was it was yeah. OBS being a little screwy. Yeah, just in I case, I'm gonna check my, my thing just in case, you know. Uh, I'm pretty yeah. sure we're fine though. Case, you know. Yeah. Uh, I'm pretty yeah. sure we're fine though. Yeah, I I, I heard your voice first. Yeah, I can so hear like, you. Yeah, you can hear us. Yeah, I I heard I heard yeah. We're good. All right, good. Okay, so yes. last time, um, you know, I couldn't record it, so I'm gonna see right now. Um, a, a sh small recap. We. Basically, got to the point where um, we did some side quests. Uh, took a Kokiri home, helped him with some things. Found a skull, uh, got skull, like a skull mask back for a uh, skull kid named Domem. And we, we collected, uh, we went through a dungeon um, called Woodfall, uh, the Woodfall Temple for a, a rainbow choo choo, which you were all rewarded with a uh, great amount of money. Hundred platinum per person. I yes, believe, I believe. Was. Yes, that was the case. Yes, for people who did it, granted. Uh, so, yeah. Since um, two people are, uh, you know, some people are missing. I'm gonna, we're gonna introduce the new characters, because you know, at they are. You, you, since they don't understand, thieves can't, as far as I know. Um, they'll be thinking they're taking this job to help uh, with this uh, missing merchandise thing. Is that fair? Yep. All right. So there's their characters. Put them on the the um the token layer. And now um, I I made this one big on purpose. It's they're supposed to be <laughs> pretty large. <laughs> what is that thing? That's a, a Hero Forge Dragonborn. So basically, they're coming out Hero dragon. The Hero Forge make made a. Uh, Chromatic Dragonborn Black. It's a little... yeah. I, did... oh, I I think it's a color that you can add, but yeah, yeah black uh, uh the, the black um Chromatic Dragonborn. Yes, <laughs> main hero forge. I'm trying to say. Anyways, I'm gonna just say you 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 got you two over here the conversation in your own way. Go ahead and introduce yourselves in up to the group. Or however you want to do it. Okay. Um, where are our tokens? I don't see us. Your tokens? Uh, I am right here. Oh well, I didn't know you're gonna be here or not, so I'm gonna put you on the the. Uh, uh listen, <laughs> I didn't know if Rontas and, and uh, what's it? um, Yurok would be here. Yeah, you did. You did. You, yeah, you did. Yeah, we were kind of a uh, iffy on our participation for a while. So that's why you put, I put, other yeah, stuff. I put you on the GM layer because I didn't know if you were gonna show up. That's all. All right. Well. Anyways, you're there. Go ahead and uh, let's get some music to set, to set the mood a little bit. By the way, this is not copyrighted at all because this is stuff I actually own. Uh huh. Let's go. So, also, yeah. I, I got a question because you mentioned it. You said that we have an understanding if we don't have thieves can't. What of the people that actually have thieves can't interpret the mission as? Yeah, the only person who knows what this mission is is Virian right now. He, I don't think he's going to tell anybody. Oh, I nope. have the I'm a rogue. What? Yeah, he's a rogue. Oh, um... Oh, <laughs> Wait. Can I look at your sheet again? Let me, let me see. Let me see. Which one? Ashley. 
Ash uh, oh, wait, I thought you were like a, or like a ranger or something. My bad. Uh, let me just go. Okay, <laughs> You're all good. Well, shit. Uh, oh, Ash is a phantom rogue as well. Wow. That's cool. But. Look, little Jade His is here. Nice. Okay, so. That's. Shell Phoenix redeemed the hydrate. All right, sure. Yeah. Hey, Shell Phoenix. Welcome in. Yeah, you, you don't have to say it out loud. Like, if you have to DM it to me privately, go ahead. I don't want to ruin what for everyone else to know. So, KT, I mean, I don't think your character was there when it happened, so he can tell you, like, later. Okay. Because uh, this was only something that was supposed to be a conversation between uh, those two. And since Oshka wasn't there at the time, they didn't hear, they don't know about it. So as far as oh, I, then that's perfectly good. Then no worries. So as far as they know, um, it's the same as the same missions that the others are thinking it is. Okie dokie. That sounds fair to you, KT. Yes, it sounds good. Yeah, well, I'm cause... just updating my reactive thing right now because I'm still shot of the hedgehog on your thing. Yeah, you were. <laughs> yeah, I, I, yeah, I could tell. I, I, I could tell that the reactive is a shot of the hedgehog. It was hilarious. <laughs> well, I mean, I had that set up for my freaking summon shadow thing. Oh Jesus Christ! I saw the background of that. It's, it's, Do a color day, it's, so being, it's cute, don't worry about it. So late, I, just, I just woke up. Second, I gotta get his reactor real quick. I'm setting that up right now. Just... Thank you, Shadox. I am so sorry. Shadox with the first nut. <laughs> let's see where. Yay, let's go. Where is Hez? <laughs> there you are. They, 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 they like doing that, by the way. That's, that's Shadox from my friend Index's uh, stream. And they, yeah. they love, I, I kind of copied my friend Index a little bit with, with some of her redeems, but, um, not, not fully. Like, I still have my, I still have my mind redeems too, like, uh, stuff like that, but you kind of, yeah. you kind of know what I mean. Yeah, I know what you mean, Jade. Also, Jade, we actually forgot something. What's up? We forgot to do a sheet for my animal companion. Oh, no. Uh, you, uh we can do that later. Okay. Besides, um, I can always come up with one later. Wait, is your is your animal companion like its own separate NPC, or is it your is it like an actual animal? It, he's an actual animal. Then we can just use one oh. of the regular, one, one of the ones. Yeah. Okay, I mean, it's just dire wolf. That's all. If it's, if it's just a dire wolf, I have actually have some, a, a funny thing. I actually have a token for that. Awesome. Then that works out good. So. <laughs> You're probably wondering why I have a token of a direwolf of all things. And it's not... It, it, <laughs> so, Wraith would probably know this. I'm not sure if he does, but um, if he was run or not, but... I was part of a, of a group that had Jade had... had Jade had basically a, a, like a puppy that was a direwolf. And uh, Jade basically had that direwolf as a pet. And in one of my previous campaigns, we also had a, a, someone... A, I'll try to adopt a like a like a dire wolf and be that as a pet. I thought it was a werewolf, to be honest. Um, no, 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 no. It was, it was it was a dire wolf. <laughs> okay. It was it was it's funny though, right? <laughs> huh. The more you know. So yeah, it's a. Uh, do I still have the token? I gotta check that real quick. Like, might not. It's okay. Oh well, it's, it's that not important right now. No. I do have a. I, I can look up for, for it later, but. Basic idea was is that he, uh, you know, he was a thing. <laughs> That's fine. Yeah, I, I can't find it right now. I'll look for it later. Anyways, um, go ahead and introduce this character, everyone. You, you too. Mm -hmm. you, you're basically, you basically hear that there's an, an uh, um, missing property sort of thing. Um, it's like sort of sneaky mission thing, but it's also like you're trying. Like, Reclaim stolen property is what you've heard from this whole thing. And uh, yeah. a, a noble is a. Uh, it's like a noble's house kind of thing, but you know, trying to like get back what was taken. Alright. What do you say, everyone? You too. Hello. Um. Uh. So, I get you. You two probably knew the um, D and D. So, 
pretend to be a character talking to them. Are you sure about this? I'm positive. Don't worry. Uh, just follow my lead uh, during this. Don't ask too many questions. And whatever you do, this is going to be a stealth thing. So I'd rather not raise the alarm. Otherwise, the uh, stuff we're looking for could get destroyed. Let's say. Oh, great. A delicate mission. Um... Hey, I mean, if they're all dead already, then, I mean, it's not really <laughs> need to You are... <laughs> Love that. <laughs> Osh, Osh like, just looks at the centaur with the most, really, <laughs> look you could possibly imagine a bird face having. She's the already face. Maybe. I'm inclined to agree with them. If they're already dead, there's not much worry of being discovered. Oh, yeah? Well, how about during the fights, they just shout out to their compatriots that shit's going down, and they can burn down whatever shit we're looking for. Can you please calm down, small one? We got this, alright? Besides, any good hunter knows you sneak up on the prey, and then I found kill it. it. You're, you're <laughs> talking to somebody that's been, uh, that's been skulking in the streets since he was six. I know how to handle sneaky situations. I, I, I f I'm advising all of you to keep it sneaky. I, f I found the I found the I found the token. <laughs> um, has just to be just to be clear, showing all her teeth and just go. I was raised by wolves. I think I know how to hunt good and be stealthy. Oh, look! If we're all going right? to do this together, we might as well try to get along for a while. Francis is just looking at him like. Once raised by wolves, once raised by the streets, like, well, I mean, that was, I mean, and one, was, and one of us was raised. I don't know. Uh, uh, I, I, and the I one big dragon story. lady is just looking at everybody with that look of annoyance. It's like the it's like the emo kids fighting uh, fighting at against each other. Like, no, my dark my dark backstory is worse than like this one center dude. Banded at oh, child, he's like, yeah. God, I don't, yeah. I don't know what yeah. you're complaining about. I didn't know my family. I mean, it's so I don't have anything to complain about. <laughs> yeah, for a dire wolf thing. So for now, I'm gonna just. Uh, um, that. I'm pretty sure yeah. "Raised by Wolves" is a, is a music song. Dire wolf sitting beside her. I, I'm just trying to find the um, the start of the wolf stat walk so I can get onto the thing. I mean, you Eagle, are Eagle is correct? just Eagle is a dragon. Yes. She's been raised by well, dragons. <laughs> <laughs> All I'm that. saying is that during, right. the, well, during if, this if, mission if, here, it's in our best interest to keep things quiet. I, so I'll try. Mean, I'll try to be quiet as possible, but I'm a four. I, I mean, do you, have you seen my size? Quiet is not usually my strong suit. <laughs> the hanging in the back is back in, ca in case shit does go down. Then charge in. There you go. There's your token for your direwolf friend. Fair enough. You yeah. guys, if you guys accidentally alert someone, I will make sure they are not alerted no more. I'm gonna stay behind. Yeah, hang back as well. Vanguard or whatever. I may hurt. I may know my stealth, but I do have some sizable, well, assets. So, um, how, how about Yarok the is just going to look at the other. Thank you for the. Draconic. Pogreed thing. <laughs> I'll read that later. I'm uh, kind of gonna know something. I promise. I will do it. Uh, Yarok is going to look over at the other Draconic character that has entered the tavern. <laughs> They're really tall. <laughs> probably, even, probably about the same size as Ronta's, actually. Or... Close. Yeah, uh... Pigos is 11 feet tall. Yarok is only about 7, which is about... Which is still pretty tall for a for an average dragonborn. <laughs> it's kind of cool, isn't it? <laughs> We got a chromatic dragonborn and, and a gem dragonborn, both on the same team. The thing is, well, now this is interesting. This is totally very right. interesting. You don't need to worry. Phaneris and I will be silent. Phaneris? Is that what we call your, your direwolf, um, by the way? That is his name, yes. How do how, how you um, spell that? I'm asking out character. Hang on. I will type in. Thank you. Is it like Finris? Like F E N R I S? Because I heard Finris for some reason. Exactly. Yeah. Also, uh, out of so character. So the Norse god, or Norse 
Wolf. I don't know. He's a god. Uh, where, where to type it? Ooh, hang on. I'm hanging on. We, well, like he... I was saying though, uh, Pigos calls people who she doesn't call people small one purely because of like power. She calls them small one because they are literally shorter than her. So, okay, gotcha. Yer Yerok <laughs> looks confused at the fact that there is something taller than him in this tavern. Um, besides Rontus, probably. Besides Rontus, yeah. besides, besides I, I'd say uh, Rontus and Yerok are possibly about the same height. Yeah, I think Rontus will like beat you by a couple inches or so. Yeah, so so they're very close. So <laughs> Yerok is very not used to seeing something much larger than him in the. Uh, how tall yeah, is Rontus? Tall I mean, he's a centaur. <laughs> he, he's about seven two, I would assume. All right, I'd so to, I'd have to double check. I'm gonna um yeah, do redeem real quick. So Those they redeem. They redeem that I I say something as Patrick Star. I'll be I'll I'll be make sure to say uh, say this real quick and we we'll get back to it. Okay. <clears throat> a black hole is a region of space time where gravity is so strong that nothing, including light or other magnetic waves, has enough of the energy to escape its event horizon. <clears throat> and the theory of Joe Rhodes simply predicts that a sufficient Sufficiency compact mass can deform a time to deform a black hole. I mean, what? <clears throat> Anyways. <laughs> what oh, I'm 710. Love the, I mean, what? At the end there. <laughs> <laughs> oh, by, <laughs> by the way, Jade, I'm I'm seven I'm seven foot ten. Oh, uh, so you're you're the the, the, the like Picos is like way bigger than you. <laughs> and Picos is probably Six the biggest. Bird man, man is. Getting less and less surprised being out heightened by people now. <laughs> it's kind of funny, actually. Okay, so how do you spell that again? Uh, for Pigos or F E. Oh, sorry. F E. F E. Uh, F E R I S. I S. All right, nameplate it and then save settings. There you go. And there's F E N I R I S. F E N. Oh, sorry. Oh, F E. If, okay, yeah, I'll just rename it. Okay, there we go. All right, okay. So wait, who's what does Pygus look like again? This one. I made them big on like, purpose. <laughs> I could. She's the biggest on. one there. <laughs> I don't see. Yeah, but what are they? They're a dragonborn. She is a chromatic yeah. dragonborn. God oh, dang! How how tall is? <laughs> She's eleven foot three. How did she get so tall? <laughs> She's just standing there! Missing me! <laughs> <laughs> Love it. <laughs> I, I would imagine that being raised among true dragons would um Gotta do that. allow a dragonborn to oh. grow very tall. Fair. She was That's raised fair. among the black dragons. It's Taking the moment to realize this Rito probably used to being the tallest thing in the room until he went to Termina of all places. I know, right? Now he's one of the middle-sized people, and he's confused. <laughs> also, thanks. Yeah, I hope that was satisfactory. You know, the to redeem. <laughs> <laughs> I add that. I mean, what part? Because Patrick's naturally stupid. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's, like, it's like the smart brain activated just long enough to say that. Yeah. So with all this, the bigger characters are staying behind the case. The smaller characters have to, you know, get back up. <laughs> And yeah, as Aziel is just, she's the dark red tiefling, has a wolf tooth necklace around her, along with her leather armor. And Venera Sorfen is a grayish black wolf. I have him right here. With piercing so. blue eyes. Yep. Is that is that good enough token you say? Because I had that left over. <laughs> Oh, it's perfect. That token's perfect for him. Good, good. And I'll be using the, the yeah. direwolf stat box for him. So, uh, thank you. But yeah, since she can talk to him. Hey, Jay. Give a yeah. proper be introduction sure to, uh, to, to be sure to uh, um, keep straight. What, what? Be sure to keep straight. Keep straight? What do you mean? Oh. Your check. oh, posture check. I didn't know what you meant first. <laughs> 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 All right. Doing that right now. Uh, I thought you talked about that. That can go for that can go for everyone as well. Proctus is, is just looking at the one person who's bigger than him. Like, God dang! 
<laughs> I, I was, I was uh, about to ask, keep straight, bye bye. <laughs> Game. <laughs> give a proper introduction. To give a proper introduction to Pigos, um, she is an 11 foot 3 inch tall black and red matic dragonborn with wings, was raised by black dragons, and she is a princess. It used to be before she decided to leave and become an adventurer. Ah, yes. Ah, yes. Yeah. This, this absolutely becomes more relevant then, because I'm just looking at your wings and trying to figure out, because I've never seen a dragonborn with wings before. Oh, wait, <laughs> wait, 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 before now is me. Sorcerers, yeah. dragonborn sorcerers tend to grow wings, especially, there's yeah. like quite a few classes that can get it. Well, then, um, <laughs> Wasn't Dragon Disciple one of them back in 3.5? I think yeah. so. Also, you never told me that you're going to have wings for your character, but... Um, we, we, we could, we could, we could work with those details a little bit earlier. Just, just say your wings are tired and can't, um, fly very well yet. Okay. She doesn't really fly anymore. Okay, then they're just decoration, so to speak. So, yeah, that's fine. Actually, we're injured. Your ex wings well, only she... come out with the, uh, gem flight ability. <laughs> so the reason she doesn't fly anymore is because when she was flying away from her home, um, she got into a fight with some rival dragon clans and her wings ended up getting crippled in the fight so she can't fly anymore okay fair enough all right that's just a feral teeth like yeah <laughs> they they had fun they were a lot of fun making their characters oh yeah <laughs> i can tell anyways um do you guys want uh like how I, how you just need to show each other um well, um, period point blank, just immediately upon seeing them, when this conversation is starting, I just start examining them, because I've never seen anything like them before. And to, to the point, I, I'm just kind of zoned out trying to be, like, I examining everything. <laughs> it's like it's like, it's like that meme with Motomoto. Moto. <laughs> um, you would just be like... Jane would have seen a tiefling before. In fact, he would have seen two of them before. Yeah, tieflings are, are a, a commonality around here. Yeah, especially. Well, I, I, I mean, he would have seen two specific tieflings before. Oh, I thought she said she was feral tiefling, like looked more demonic. She does. Okay, yeah. yeah. That that's why I'm examining further. <laughs> okay, so she's more she is feral demon both ways. So she's more demonic and. Yes, basic, basic. More horns, more cloven hoofs, basically. Uh, the devil blood is is stronger in there, specifically devil. Yeah, mm -hmm. which fits with her backstory <laughs> since her family were followers of Edmodius, but because she didn't have the magical aptitude they wanted, they abandoned her. <laughs> you'll fit you'll, you'll, you'll fit perfectly in this group. I'm missing that out character because I'm not. Oh god. <laughs> <laughs> I'm saying so I'm, far I'm just... these people are taking being examined by a complete stranger quite well. <laughs> I mean, it's not the weirdest because thing that happens around here. I know, right? Yarok is more interested in the eleven foot three dragon lady. I'm sure it is. <laughs> wink, wink, nudge, nudge. I'm just teasing you. I'm just teasing you. I know. I mean, I, I mean, I was gonna. I mean, I was gonna say something about that about Rontus doing that, but I mean, if he's already doing it, it would be <laughs> so, weird. Because like, she notices Rontus looking at her, and she's just like, "Hello." <laughs> <laughs> she hey snaps, her, snaps her fingers in front. That that's great. He's like, he's like, he, he's simply saying, "I'm not even. I am not used to having to look up to someone." <laughs> yes, but their eyes are more to get upwards you. than where you are looking. Like, oh, he's I like, I'm, I like, I mean, know, darling. <laughs> literally, it's like chest is right there. It's not my fault. It's, it's, it's have you seen the freaking Frieza versus Goku meme where Goku just like leaning over Frieza and looking down at him? <laughs> That's just really what this is. <laughs> facts, facts, not even lying. That's heavy facts. She's just <laughs> gonna be like. Well, you better get used to craning your neck because you're going to have to look up a little bit more. <laughs> he's, 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 like, at, he's like is, actively is that trying. The, is that the I'm whole like, my eyes are up here thing? Yeah. He's like, hang on, hang on, hang on. I have to back up <laughs> because I can't, I can't cream my neck that high. Godly. 
It's like after we bagging him, trying to like, okay, there we go. He, he's a, he, I'm used to the only other thing taller than me in the room being Rontis. You are very well, interesting. What, may I ask what kind of dragonborn you are? Dramatic. I was raised by the black dragons over in the east. But I left my family because I didn't want to be the princess that they wanted. That's fair. Whatever that, whatever that was. The reason I can't fly anymore is because when I was leaving, I got into a war with the Western clan and they crippled my wings. Oof. That'd be if like breaking, wish... breaking my leg. Hmm. Hmm. If you don't wish to carry those useless appendages, I could cut them off and heal the wounds for you. Yeah, but, but they look cool. They look cool. They might heal at some point. Them. They might heal at some point, too. I would prefer to keep them just in case they do heal. Hmm. Do it yourself. As for my pole arm, you, this, was actually, this was actually stolen from the corpse of one of the people who crippled me. It's not going to be of use to him anymore if he's dead. Hmm. <laughs> and that's the person I could get behind. Someone who takes the, the weapons to use later. Yes. That's just a yes. Well, I mean, at least you got some sort of revenge. Ashley's kind of awkwardly holding out his hand, slightly shaking, like, pleasure to meet you to, um, My the tieflings so that scared. I don't know our game. <laughs> he's an awkward person. Yeah. He's not good at this. He's, he's awkward. Awkward. He's not scared. It's awkward. It's awkwardness, yeah. Enough you guys would actually... Could we, uh, get two add. formal introductions? Mm -hmm. so you would see Ad kind of look at the dire wolf and just do some... Huh? Uh, Someone sounds fine, like... fine. You, you can be so pushy. Someone sounds like Fluffy on YouTube. Who's Fluffy? <laughs> I am Aziel. This is Paneris. Very nice, I was, Rachel. I was reminded that I have to introduce myself because not everyone knows things by sense. I kind of do, but only a little. <laughs> I mean, I was out in the woods for a while. That's fair. <laughs> yeah, blame me. Uh, uh, I, mean, half, I mean, to be to be fair, half of you guys, half of you guys miss spots, but you know, I don't want to be rude. <laughs> I do want to say, out of character, the people who are combat heavy and not be able to sneak, we'll get something for this mission as well. So. They'll be they'll, 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 they'll with a few of you as well. Don't worry. Yes, we do. <laughs> but uh, so... oh, I should I should probably introduce myself better than what I was. <laughs> yeah. Um, I'm Rontus. I'm basically sort of the That's guy who course, takes yeah. their hit, hits for everyone, and also the uh, one who got. Mm, the my mouth, thing. my mouth will not work. Yeah. <laughs> your mouth, your mouth, and your brain do not cooperate at the best of times. Some, okay, I got some water now. It will. Uh, yes, you are the horny one of this group. Which How one? am I the horny one? No, no, <laughs> no, no he's... because you're a horse. I'm, I'm, a, I'm a, yeah, but I'm a. He's like, he's just looking at me like, huh? <laughs> he's. I don't know if that's in character or not, but he's like. But I'm the one who attacks the enemy and gets killed for it and it keeps them safe. I, He's the angry one. Yeah, I'm, I could be... Oh, I could be very angry. I'm not terrifying when I want to be. <laughs> he's... 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 Hey. he's, he's, he's <laughs> great. I think I, ter I, I think I terrorized a few and un other worlders. <laughs> oh, yeah. You're yeah, just gonna... Jamin went at the mention of the other worlders. Um, by the way, my name's Yerok. I am the... Um, Adopted son of the Guildmaster here. Um, you should have seen Rontis back at Romani Farms the other day. He was sending them scattering left and right like it was nobody's business. I mainly carry a lance around. It's my main source of weaponry. He likes to do the poke. <laughs> oh, so you are the one who did that great hunt that left a lot of bodies. Um, they kind of they kind of dissipate after a bit. But... 
And and he's not the only one who took out quite a lot of them as Ashley's kind of like nervously kind of grabbing his arm. It's like, I, I kind of took care of quite a few things. I'm, I'm lifting him up. I'm lifting him up, by the way. You're, you're looking at like you were like Simba for freaking... <laughs> yeah, <laughs> basically. Wait, what? Wait hold up. Am I being yes. Simba? Yes, Wait, you're being Simba. Are you Simba? <laughs> I, I have never seen such a just before. freezing in a moment because that is as close as what I can think of right now is him just immediately freezing up at your touch and just kind of being a plank. <laughs> he's freaking, he's, he's Simba right now. It's great. <laughs> Indeed, I have never seen such a short alpha or such a tall beta before. A beta? beta. What? Damn! <laughs> I'll, uh, I'll have you know that this... I'll have you know that I'm the one who gets the biggest kill. <laughs> yeah, Ronda says That's big, just kind uh, of shakes her head before pointing at... Uh, she'll says, Alpha, Beta, Leader, <laughs> <laughs> I think, yeah, no, at that moment, Ashil probably, his beak just flaps open because he's like, oh, this is not where I was expecting this to go. You're a beta male, Sonic. <laughs> I'm sorry. Sonic, you are a beta cuck. <laughs> Oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> just letting it sink in that the most socially awkward character I've ever created just gets called an alpha and there's no no kind of response I have to this other than just immediately unsure of anything and just starts leave it to the feral one. This is great. This is great so far. Yeah. This is like, Brontis is like, pointing to Yurok. He's mainly he's mainly the one who le does the leading. Usually. Usually, unless I'm preoccupied with other missions Link has given me. Yes. Mm. My apologies for mixing up the hack hierarchy. No. Hack hierarchy. <laughs> <laughs> You know, no, no, I'm not asking if I could be put down. At this point, I'm flapping out of his grasp, just like, let go of me, let go of me! He's, he just, he's, Rondas is just looking at him like, see, he's very ang he can get, be very angry as well, so there's no, you know, he can one. be a very angry bird. He's an angry I bird. So oh no! I'm 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 bird. I am bird. so glad that this character is incapable of blushing because, period, point blank, he would be severely if he wasn't covered in feathers right now. I mean, he, he could do the whole oh. anime blush thing where he's got blushing through his feathers thing. Some, oh, no, some birds his, can blush. His feathers would his, his feathers would preen up, I guess, in that moment. Yeah, that works. <laughs> <laughs> I, love I have eaten Angry Birds before. They tasted quite nice. I'm please don't eat our. Please don't eat our archer. I can't tell if she's attracted or hungry. It could be both. <laughs> it One could be very both. well be both. <laughs> it could be both. <laughs> All right. Yeah. I, no. It happens uh, a lot more than you think. I will not eat them. Thank you. <laughs> this is <great. laughs> I put him. I'm putting him down. I'm literally, literally dropping him down. <laughs> oh my goodness! Careful with the small bird, Rontis. I mean, it was only it was only three feet from the ground. He can hover. I'm just hungry. Macy's message in chat. Yeah, you know, I saw that too. <laughs> That's great. <laughs> I don't know whether I'm horny, hungry, or both. <laughs> the answer is yes. Uh, yes. The answer is always yes. <laughs> yes, exactly. <laughs> Why do you think people go for sandwiches after they're done? By the way, have you any, have any of you two have any of you two seen any centaurs on your travel? Uh. I'm, I'm, we're supposed to be a pack kind of thing, but I haven't found anyone else like me, and it's kind of getting a bit concerning. Uh, I, what? I am like sorry, you. I have not seen mm. any uh. like you. <laughs> mm. I'm mostly 
to the deep woods and such. I love this so far. <laughs> yeah. Bob hides behind behind the centaur because he's just concerned to being near the tiefling at the moment. <laughs> <laughs> so great. <laughs> I'm surprised no one's mentioned the, the direwolf. Um, that's like right, right next next. Oh no, the direwolf is the most normal thing here. Yeah, <laughs> literally, no one is questioning the direwolf because it's the most normal thing in the room. You're right, actually. Have, that's fair. I have retuned. I apologize. That is very much alone. the most normal thing compared to as. I know, isn't that hilarious? <laughs> Just like. This bird is questioning a lot of things right now. He 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 has a twenty level intelligence and he doesn't know what the hell to think about in this current moment in time. Give him a moment. If he wants to ask, if he wants to ask Pigos anything, he could go right ahead. She will answer um, everything. Veneris is pretty much as is Jiminy Cricket in a way. And here I thought also had a bird brain. <laughs> Asha is the smartest person here, just has the no charisma to enact anything with it, That's... which makes it all the better. That actually makes a lot better character, in my opinion. <laughs> he has the smarts, but not the wit. Exactly. <laughs> so, so, when do we go hunting, then, for this item? I say we depart as soon as possible, if uh, they're in here agrees. Yes. I would, the sooner the better. I don't want to risk any, any of this stuff, this stuff being lost. Uh, <laughs> if we happen to find like a item of protection, can we can we keep it as a find his fee? <clears throat> you just hear Asha whisper wine as he pulls out his alchemic jug and starts chucking a little bit. Wait, and uh, and I have what? Sorry. An item of protection. It's a cloak of protection. <laughs> oh. Well, no, it's it's like there's 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 th some sometimes there's these things that you wear and then they supposed to give you protection. I just said that that is, that's one of the rewards for wearing so, Yeah, I was gonna buy the, the reward is a cloak of protection. An, uh, a cloak of protection. Woo. Well, that's nice. I was gonna buy one. That saves me money. Yeah, it does. We probably should buy healing potions though, just in case we get, die, start dying. I can heal people, just, just got very limited. I'm still working on, on my alchemy. Let, let's buy the potions, yeah. Yeah. I can heal people. Yes, I think still we all do. Good. Let's move on. <laughs> <laughs> I was going to say, does it, don't you guys have like that herbal medicine kit that um you got from Dole Man? Uh, who has the herbalism kit in their inventory? Ugh. I can cook things. That's Maybe we should have a hearty meal before we wake it up. That's too. actually true. You, you could probably cook something beforehand. Right, because uh, uh, um, Romani did teach you how to do some cooking. I was well, well, I already I already knew how to cook before that, but I like her. I, I wanted to make their feel nice. She, she, no, you know how to cook, but she taught you a certain recipe that you probably didn't already make. Oh yes, that's uh, that's true. The scampi, as I remember. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Oh yes, we had a uh, scampi when we were back at the farms. Uh, my mom's tree. <laughs> I was just a freaking bushing character right now on Awesome Real Life. <laughs> I didn't want to say it out loud, but it's just like, nope, I... Oh god. It's hilarious, isn't it? I, it's, also, it's, I am so in character that... It's affecting me in life. <laughs> also, we have we have this were rat friend somewhere. I don't know where he went though. So, I believe he was uh, going to check in with his clan. Oh, you know, I, I, I can always like bring him back here eventually. Yeah, I, yeah. I was just saying for, for flavor, he could have been checking in with his clan. Yeah, he, he's in there somewhere. I'll bring I'm, I'm, wa well, I'm walking. Gonna... I'm walking over to Caesar, picking him up, and bringing him to meet the new people. I love this. <laughs> Here, this is our. This also, is our friend that we made recently. So you know, Pigos is not a, is not afraid to flirt with people just to throw people off. <laughs> Same here. Ash would literally get close and sniff them. 
<laughs> Look at Fury, he's so being he's so impatient right now with these, these things. Fury, not not, it, not KT, it's just hilarious. Azul sniffing at Pigos. Just no, have to wear a rat. Oh, actually, think, seeing Virvin's reaction definitely. Oh, also but, start uh, making see, it. She's not even here right patients. now. She's just not even here right oh. now. Oh, he isn't. No, he's not. No, he, 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 you're gonna see him later. You, you are you are gonna see him oh. later. Oh. Though. Oh, okay. <laughs> no, the where the where that guy isn't in, isn't in the guild hall right now. Oh, who? No, I thought he was here, so I was gonna pick him up and bring no, him over. No, he's not. He's not here. He's not here. <laughs> oh, okay. Yeah, yeah he, he's checking in. With, he, he, he's uh, checking in with his clan right now. Mm-hmm. Ah, uh, uh, okay. Okay. The thing about being bar bear barbarian is you can lift very much large things with no problem. Can you lift, you lift big us? I could probably be actually us. <laughs> so it's been different. Pigos could Ooh. definitely lift you, though. Oh, definitely. Oh, definitely. Pigos could lift any of us without any problems. And that's fine. And remember, she has, her t she has her tail, too, so she has three appendages to lift, it, to lift shit with. That's uh -huh. a prehensile tail? It's not prehensile, it's a lizard tail, but she could wrap she could wrap her tail around things. That That's prehensile. Yeah. yeah. Well, anyways, uh um... I have a tail too. It's not a pretty style though. They do have a they do have a tail, but it's not gonna be able to lift anything. <laughs> that's uh that's as is a normal tail, it just wags with her moods and that like wolves. Well, also has a regular dragon tail that he mostly just uses for balance. <laughs> when he's running fast. Oh wait, that's me. <laughs> that's <laughs> well, Ashul kinda uh, Ashul kinda goes, eh! Uh, we should probably get the potions, guys. Yes, how much do you want me to buy all the potions, or do you want to share it equally? Did or you... perhaps we should do a party fund so we can use it for resources we all need. Most of you guys, like, like the ones who were in the rush for the, the, the ones who did the venture before got the 100 platinum per person, so I think you're fine. I think we can eat... Uh, I, think, I think what we should do is, is put... Uh, me... It was. Wait, did you say 100 platinum um, per person? Yeah, from the Rainbow Slime thing. Yes. Fuck me. Okay. From, from Mortimer. From Mortimer, yeah. yeah. But you were which, there. Which was, you were yeah, there. Between... Yeah, I know I was there. I was I was sneaking around one shotting choo choos left and right. Yeah, so you do get that too. Yes. Yeah, I know. That's why I'm saying fucking hell. I, that, because that's a lot of this. Yep, Mortimer is a rich, rich, a rich kid. Yeah, he's like those rich kid trainers who will absolutely fucking spoil you when you beat them in Pokemon. I know, right? <laughs> I... And, uh, beat a rich kid with while while holding while having your lead party hold an Amy coin, they're gonna go broke. Anyways, um, do you guys want to start traveling now? Yes. Uh, yes, but I was first yeah, going to ask, good. maybe maybe should, maybe should all of us with the 100 Platinum should probably put away 20 for, like, a party fund in case... You know, there is a know. bank here, too. Yeah. Well, yes, but we should at least have something separate in case something bad happens. Yes, uh, I, I, I'll have your arc suggest we go up in a party account at the bank. Yeah, they do, they, there, there is a bank here, to t and, um, the Reaper for Heroes uh, Guild, actually. Yep, it's run by this man right here. Yeah, this guy right here. Ooh. This is where the... The Arian's gonna go by over to Davari Goods uh, to like, get some potions for himself. This guy in black, what? Oh. Alright, so you're going over to Davari Goods, you said? Yep. What do you plan on doing? Buying some health potions. Three right. of them, and also replenishing my bolts. So I think I used like I I don't know how many fucking bolts I used. I shot so many things. I and I keep forgetting. You used up like twenty, I life. think. Yeah, and it's uh, like one goal for t per ten, so I think that's you're fine. But by, by twenty. But then again, so you can always perfect. regather bolts, but you have to spend time for that. Yeah. Also, a little fun fact that adds nothing to Pigos. Uh, since she has super heated insides, she doesn't get drunk. Darn. <laughs> Wait, Pygosa Pi doesn't get drunk? 
she doesn't get drunk. She could drink everybody here under the table, and she would pretend to be drunk just so you guys could feel bad. <laughs> Arn, that's terrible. You're evil. Yerok be- grew up in this place, so he also knows how to hold a ridiculous amount of liquor. Anyways, so um... I don't you- drink. It's bad for you. Anyways, what did you need, um, Virian? Three healing potions. Uh, let's see. Isn't fi- it's 50 gold per... Regular- for for minor healing potions and a hundred gold for regular ones. Mm. Uh, how much does uh? But you said uh fifty gold for minor and a hundred for regular ones. Regular? Yes. How much does a regular one heal? And how much does a minor one heal? I, for, I forgot. Eighty four. Um, no, so a, a, a minor healing potion heals you two d eight plus two. 2d8 plus 2? Yes. Uh, and okay, what about regular? the regular one has basically just, is basically just like, um, from what I remember, it's like, it's a, th- I think, I, I forgot exactly what the number was, but I think it's 3d8 plus 5. I could be wrong, but I think, let's, let's go with that for uh, now. Looking up right now, just to make sure. Because I thought it was always the, you always <laughs> use the d4 standard. No, it's a, or is it a d6? It's a d8. Because huh. the, the the most you can get from from monitoring potion is ten points. Remember that. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Two D four plus two. Yeah. Plus yeah I'm looking at D four here. Oh, this D four. Yeah. I'm bad. Right. Yeah. There's healing, greater healing, superior healing, and supreme healing. They're all D fours. They're all D fours. Okay. So. Yeah. So regular healing is two D four. Greater healing is four D four. All right. Plus four. Greater healing. Okay. Oh. That's the like the. You have the regular healing potions, which are the 50 gold, which would do the 2d4 plus 2, and the rare healing potions that they would have, so, um, which I think is 100 gold. Alright. And one platinum piece is, uh, how many gold pieces? Let's see. Like 100. 100, yeah. Wait, what? It depends on DM, though. Yeah, it depends on DM, though. It could be either 100 or 1,000. No, one platinum piece is 100. Okay, so then... Oh, then I need to recalculate my thing, because I, I did some wrong calculations before. Give me a sec. Right, so so yeah, then Virian, uh, so, is like, so like sifts through his wallet, takes out three platinum pieces. Three green healing potions, please. All right, coming right <laughs> up. She says, and she kind of gets them. So, like, free, <laughs> Kiki comes front, goes through the back, and then, you know, gets them. <laughs> Set up for the... I think... Okay, sorry. Let's just sit at the bar table, shopping in her pool on. I was gonna have uh, um, Yerok offer to show the two new people around the uh, tavern because he doesn't think he's seen them around before. Yeah, you can do that if you want. I'd love a tour, honestly. As we all nod. Special's just gonna go outside and wait and probably flap around to try and cool off. He gets yes, very... because Otto was highly embarrassed. Yeah, um, so let's just say he's circling above the Adventurer's Guild, just screaming internally. I love it. <laughs> but hold on, hold on. Hold on, before he leaves, Pigos gives him a little pat on the head. Aw. Uh, oh, you made it worse. Oh, you made it, <laughs> you made it worse? I <laughs> know. That's great. I know, that was the point. Hold on, hold on, hold on. I I'm doing something because I I I legitimately don't know. We're we're gonna let. Uh... How does he not have to worry about? What's you know, oh what god! Why are you ro- why are you rolling? Oh, that shit. He not, I he was just rolling how bad this thing was gonna be, and he his feathers just preen up even more, and he just kind of <laughs> stiff leg walks out of there. <laughs> oh. He walks, like, he walks like a penguin for a, for a few seconds. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he has to worry about feelings. <laughs> he, Brown is just like looking at his like, man, imagine having to imagine having motions that are <laughs> having bad biology. <laughs> imagine having emotions that aren't anger couldn't be you, right? Oof. <laughs> I did not. I, I did not hear him. You know, you know, he was so I, I scream into the sky. Phantom, why didn't you trust me for this? I love this so much. <laughs> like why? Why? I don't understand. Why do mam? Why do mammals' bodies? You know. 
Oh, by the way, I'm not sure if you were there, um, Ashley, but um, Phantom gave you guys a mission. <laughs> oh, what, what would be the mission? Because I know I wasn't there that session, but if I hear talk of my master, I'm picking it up immediately. Yeah, fan <laughs> Phantom. Uh, basically, we, we were we were uh, uh, Phantom was talking with Virian, uh like obscurely in like Thieves' Camp or whatever, whatever, and also in very hushed tones. So what the rest of the party could pick up was basically. Uh, some vague talk about uh, some like lost property that needs to be recovered. Virion, of course, knows what they're actually going to be doing, but um, like as far as you guys know, um, we're going to be sneaking into some uh, rich guy's uh, manor to pick up some stolen goods. Okay, I, I guess with that knowledge, once no longer flustered, I guess Ashley would try and have the confidence to ask what's the real mission? Knowing you got it from Phantom. Yeah, uh, to, to Virian, I imagine, because like everyone else would probably be. Hey, wait, wait, what do you mean? This is the real mission. <laughs> yeah, well, no one else is around. Just like, let's just pop back in here. I don't care. I'm like trying not to be super flustered IRL. It's not working. This is hilarious, though. <laughs> don't don't worry too much about it, too. This is just for I fun. Can't. I can't imagine. I think, I, I'm, so I'm, I'm sorry. I'm having a blast, but this is like, huh? I've never felt this way in character before. This is definitely new experiences, and it's not a bad I thing. I think the first fruit. stop. I think the first stop. Uh, Yurok will make while giving the tour to. Uh... Big Ghost and uh, what was the other one's name? Yes. Azel. Uh, yes. Azel. 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 That's Azel. Azel. Um, Azel. I think it was. <laughs> Big Dragon like and Demonic Keeping. I'll, I'll go with those until I can remember the names. <laughs> yeah. Uh, <laughs> um, yeah, it's all good, bro. Saying. But I think the first, I, I think the first stop they'll make will obviously um, be to the Guildmasters Hall, um, and of course they'll knock on the door, um, like go. Oh, um. Sorry, we, we're kind of busy right now. You have to come back later, says uh, Kefi. All right. Let me know uh, if you can, you know, send me a message when you're done. <laughs> Just right. giving a couple new people a tour. Well, unfortunately, this is mostly a staff area, so we only like invite you in like for special missions and such. Yes, just wanted mm. to introduce them. That's all. Y Yarok still hasn't really opened the door. He's kind of talking through it. Yeah, he's talking to the door. It's kind of funny, actually. He's he's talking through the door. <laughs> I know. It's still funny though. Oh like like he's kind of he's kind of like leaning up to the keyhole so his voice can be more heard in there. <laughs> hey Jade, I forget. Uh, which Davari sister handles the um the the enchantments, and which one handles the general good stuff? Uh, the, the, Ricky for... handles the enchantments, and Anari handles general goods. Yes. Okay. Thanks. Uh. Well, the guild leaders are pretty, so I guess. The keyhole. <laughs> I was hoping to introduce you to the guild masters. That's all. Let us they continue are the on our door? tour. Uh, they are through the door. They are in a uh, leader meeting right now, and we are not privy to that. Mm. <laughs> Even as the guild masters adopted son, I am not privy to favoritism. <laughs> I have to work for the info just like anyone else. <laughs> I had to do the same. Just because anyway. my former family adopted me, that did not mean I had a high hierarchy in the path. Anyways, what did you need, Varian? What? What did you need? What did you need? Like you wanted something from the, from the, the virus sisters. I already got what I needed, the three potions. Oh, okay, then you're fine. Okay. Uh, Yerok is going to uh, say, then let's continue the tour, shall we? And mm. he's going to start mm. making his way over to the bank. I'm just following area. behind him, by the way. Just, just interested right. in hearing his explanation of it. Yeah, he's, he's just horsing around. <laughs> all, right, time to, all right, time to go on a killing spree. <laughs> also, it'd be like like right like right here like, actually, because like this is oh. this like the like the main uh, this hallway where it's like it's like for like meet, other meet 
like I'm not sure what they'll use this for, but I think it would be perfect for like uh Pro not... probably like the entrance, the, the main entrance hall. Main entrance hall, but also for announcements and stuff, big events, yeah, that kind of thing. Guild announcements, if you will. Mm -hmm. uh, I mean, just what what is the good name? Uh, I think it was Deacon. I can't remember exactly if that was true or not. Uh, yep. Deacon Viserys. Uh, yeah, go ahead and show was, him. It was Deacon. It's Deacon, yeah. yeah let me, let's go ahead and uh, show him. There we go. Alright. Because he's an active member of the guild. Um, he doesn't have a sheet, so he's just there. <laughs> yeah. He, he just has the uh, character icon. Mm -hmm. I believe. And uh, if Pigos and Ezel can follow move. Yarok over here. Yeah, you can move your characters, by the way. You just click, use your mouse to click on them and then drag over. Yep. Click and drag. Mm -hmm. yeah. This should be pretty fun, I'd say, so far. <laughs> yeah, I, I, I can tell it's going to be interesting. <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, it's been a little funny. <laughs> <clears throat> Um, What's up? I, I was just making sure those two have control of their characters. <laughs> yep. <clears throat> All right. All right. Mm. As, uh, do we know what Deacon sounds like, by the way? <laughs> Deacon's what? Do Do we know what Deacon sounds like, by the way? Uh, he's like, uh, I want you to decide. Alright, um, I'll go ahead and yoink, uh, um, Pigos over here. Um. <clears throat> ah, Yarok. Good to see you. How are things today? I, I feel like that would kind of be a more calm, collected... I like to kind think of. I like to think that he's um eccentric but he's still calm, you know? Yeah. A bit of a mix kind of thing. Like he's a uh, he's like he's like a, a bit of a, a freaking Ananar at the same time, but at the same time he's got like he's he loves his work kind of thing. Like he he's calm quite but he loves uh talking about his work kind of thing. Mm -hmm. I think that works. Yeah. Ah, Deacon, good morning. I'm just showing the two new members of the guild hall on around showing the grand tour and all. Ah, yes. Well, as you can tell, I am the banker here at the Rebirth of Heroes Guild Hall. I handle all the funds for the guild and distribution of reward funds. If you need money stored or withdrawn, I am the man to come to. Hmm. Okay. See. So, um... And... <laughs> Sorry, go ahead and do the interaction between the Dwarf Brothers and, uh... No, I I'm doing it right now. I'm, you guys, I want you guys RP, but I'm also gonna you know, do this with, um... If you're into keeping us going, you know? Yeah, that's fine. Right. Um, I'm just talking over you. Yeah, exactly. Right. Um, Yarek is going to start moving through the uh, main hall as he goes to the Dwarf Brothers shop, which is the next stop on the tour. As as, as after explaining that, like, bathrooms tier and, um, yeah. and the in rooms there and kitchen's back mm. there. Yeah, well, just go ahead and explain that stuff yeah. um, during, because I've got this thing going on for right, right now. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. Um, I uh, prefer to sleep outside. Does uh, Pigos have control of their character? Has Do I have control of my character? Of her token. Yeah, yeah just can drag. Yeah, just click and drag. I'm sure you do. Yeah, you do. You have plenty. You got control. If I could fucking find the token. You're right there. The, biggest, here. the biggest one there. Biggest yeah, token I... in... Here we go. 
right. And, and Yara, Yara's gonna kind of like hold the double doors open so uh, uh, the larger dragon can get through. Uh, where is she? She has to go in here by the grey yes, carpet or something. Uh, she, she's just following Yara in the tour. Mm -hmm. You're getting grand tour. And oh yeah, and Rontis is just following us, I suppose. Alright. There we and go. As they enter the door They can't brothers, they can't. The door's locked. Then how did Virian get in there? They walked it. Oh. They, Never mind. They, they walked. They walked it after um, very stopped by. They're like a private conversation kind of thing, you know. Okay. Um. Like um, I don't want you interrupting this. You know, out of character reasons. I I rather you not interrupt us during the this whole process. Mm hmm. All right. That so way, that I way, guess we'll that, just that way it flows better. We'll, you know. Yeah, we'll head to uh Divari Goods, then. Okay. Good. I'm just trying to help out, okay? Nope. Alright. Alright. So... Over here. Yep, down here, bottom of the map. Mm -hmm. Okay. Alright. Oh, uh, does... Um... Azel have control over the wolf as well? Oh, no, no, they don't. Uh, I, I, I'll, I'll get there real quick. Sorry about that. Yep. That's okay. Control. So, since it's your animal, it's your it's your it's animal company, and I know? feel yeah, I, I feel like since it's your animal companion, you should have control of its token. I'll, yeah. So, so right now it's okay. They're just following. So. So. This would. Once you have, I'll just make it's it's it represents. It. All right. We'll we'll just say it's following for now. <clears throat> yeah. Right. Okay, and so what was Yarek's going to, right? uh... Yeah. Yes, yeah, so I'm, I'm going to go back up to... It's like, it represents you, basically, but it's still, you know, itself. I don't have a character sheet for it, so I can't really do that yet. It's okay. Where's the... thing? There it is. Okay, so I'm going to... What was... How do you spell its name again? Finris, I guess? Yes. In your eyes, I believe. Sue settings. Okay, you have control of it now. You should, at least. Okay. Alright, give me a sec to scroll up. Yes. I do have control. Good, good. Okay. So, um, Yarok is going to, uh, enter Devari Goods as he's kind of, like, explaining the whole purpose of some of the rooms they passed. Mm. Um. Ah. Freaky! Anari! Yes? Good to see you. A couple things I need while I'm here. One, I'm giving these new members of the guild, the Grand Tour. Um, oh dear. Those two are tieflings, aren't they? Yep. What's wrong with that? Yep. You guys see Aziel stiffen up when she sees them. Is something the matter? Oh, uh, says, says, um, says, uh, Friggy. Are, are you, are you alright? Alright, dear. <laughs> they would see the wolf just kind of pushing her a bit, growling a little. It, it is fine. Are you sure? It's, you look like you've seen a ghost, uh. darling. Hmm. Ah. It will be fine. Nah, nah. Ah, Azel, these two are like sisters to me. You can trust them. Zach gets a glare at you. I don't think how about, that how about we just leave it at she says that it's fine, so it's fine then, huh? I don't think you should have said that, dear. Let's just leave it at that, okay? Alright. Let's just... So, what can I get you? Um, this is freaky. 
Well, we're about to go on another mission, so we need healing potions. So no okay, so how many do you need? Says Freaky. I'm card. thinking. Sorry, go ahead. I'm thinking three or four potions of greater. All right. <laughs> three or four. Let's see. I believe that is four hundred gold if you want four and uh, of those. Uh, Viren will pull out uh four platinum from his uh. You mean you, you mean Yurok, earth. right? Not Viren. Yeah, Yurok. Um, he pull out four platinum from his. Don't hijack my character here. <laughs> Sorry. Made um, mistake. <laughs> um, Yurok will. I, I was looking at the in-game chat and talking at the same time. <laughs> um. Anyway, Yurok will pull out four platinum from his uh coin purse and. Set it on the uh, counter for uh, the uh, potions of greater healing. All right. Then they got they give those. All right, and you're going to go ahead and <gasps> add those to his inventory. Anyone else need healing potions? I do, but. It's you, you better that you guys keep them. Yeah, I'll I'll take a few. How many were they costing again? What's that sound? Great. Oh, mm -hmm. sorry. That uh, the the loop sound. That's uh, the uh, game chat. Oh, okay. Anyways, um. I was like hearing a weird sound for a second. It's a, it's okay. Um, what are you saying? Uh, someone was asking how much the uh, greater potions were, and I believe it was yeah, five. so four hundred gold because for four basically, hundred gold for each. Yeah. So four platinum pieces, and then they gave you the the potions. I'm gonna I'm, I'm gonna try to move this along because uh you know. Mm -hmm. We're trying to get things going. Yeah. All right. So let's speed this up a little bit, Virian. What? It's your, your it's your turn. We can just um. Yeah, because Taz is pretty much ready to go. Yeah, they're all kind of ready to go. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I uh, I already uh, typed in my reply just now. All right. Good. Then they like. All right. Give us a bit. Shouldn't take you too long. Not too too long. Got it. And Viren like just like stands to the side, get, like trying to be as out of their way as as possible. But you know he's definitely looking at how they're working on the blade, you know, with with uh, interest. So what they do is like they 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 look at the blade and they like basically what they do is that they like uh, well well first they sharpen it like, at first and then like they kind of like uh, heat it up a little bit. You know how they do that with the blacksmith stuff. Then they sort of like pound in different directions to make it look a little, a little spikier. They're kind of like adding to it, kind of way, you know. Mm -hmm. And then like after a bit, like I'd say I don't know, like ten minutes or so, they're actually pretty efficient for being just to ten minutes, you know. Mm -hmm. But like uh, after that, you basically get a vicious short sword. Broadsword. Broadsword, whatever. Um, <laughs> it's a sword. <laughs> so it matters. Yeah, Vir uh, yeah, Virian uh, looks at the blade, and you know he like he like uh, he looks like uh, like like down the length of the blade, like shining into the light, whatever. Just like examining it thoroughly, like, wow, this is great work. Can't thank you guys enough. And he like she's his, uh, like he puts his uh, scabbard back on his hip and like she's the blade. Hmm. Well, we we do good work, and I'm glad we you, you think so. So how does the damage change on my broadsword now? So um, out character vicious weapons basically oh, um, give you extra damage upon a critical hit, as far as, as, far as I know. I, I, I look at that real quick. Uh, vicious. I'll just look at Blast because it's all the same thing. So um, 
That's what I thought. Yeah, it's an extra 2d6 um, damage for um, when you roll it with a, oh, a 20 with its magic weapon. Mm. So it, it, it's just extra damage if you if you get that, if, you, if you get a crit. All right. Uh, is there any way to reflect that on my sheet? Just uh, you can add it. You can add weapons damage on the. Yeah, you can do that right there. I, actually, I can actually add that real quick if you want to. Uh, yeah, sure. Go ahead. You know the stuff better than I do. Yeah, I do. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yeah. I, 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 I'm just uh. being silly. <laughs> <laughs> See, I believe Ron, since Ron is here, I could take him out of the inactive part. So, and yeah, uh, I'm here. Oh, hello, Nathaniel's there instead. All right, there we go. Okay, let's put you. Where do you uh, and before and before they leave for the mission, uh, Yark's going to be sure to uh, deliver Saria's box for Link. So yeah, he, he, he he'll look at it later. You know that that kind of stuff. Yeah, so, but okay. I'll remove that from my inventory. To say it's delivered. Yeah, right. Vish. Is... He, he just swings open the door, chucks the box at Link, he just leaves without a word. <laughs> I don't know how to spell Vish. How do you spell that again? F C E I C I C I O U S. I O U S. Okay, that was. I, 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 for, I forgot how to spell Vicious Broadsword. Then I'll add the actual stuff. So extra 2d6. Um, so, oh, I'm not done yet. Damage oh, sorry, that was me closing it. Whoops, Oops sorry. That, that's the wrong one. Um, vicious Broadsword. I'm trying to add this right now. 2d6. And it's, I believe, what type is your actual thing? It's piercing, right? Yeah. Or was it piercing? No, it's slashing. It was slashing. Slashing. So, um, slashing. Slashing, and I'll remind you, upon gaining a 20... Um, the extra damage applies. There. That should do it. Cool. Alright, we're good? Okay. I, I, I would say, uh, Yarok, um, upon delivery says, it's from Saria. Said your eyes only. So he, he, like, he, like, opens the door briefly and takes it in. You know, he's like, and then, like, it just kind of is there, right there. It's like I'm not gonna like explain the whole thing to you because we're already it's already past our hour mark, so let's go ahead. Yeah. yeah. All right. Go ahead and move us maps. Yep, I'm gonna do that. Um, so I'm gonna change the music first. Mm -hmm. Okay, so we're gonna go straight to the manor. Okay. Right. Is that is that fine, or do you want me to do something else? 